Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about image editor and the image data block. This is something that has confused me for a long time, so I decided to do some digging to try to understand it once and for all. Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create a material for this object. And on this material, I'm going to add an image node, add search uh, image texture node, and I'm going to link this to the base color there. So now if I open an, a, a texture, I will have the texture here. What Blender does is actually it creates an image data node and it will link this image data node to the texture file. Let me show you what I mean. So if we go here, is this is the image editor panel. So on top of here, uh, you have this, uh, this one here. This is where you can choose which data node, which image data node uh, that you want to display. So I put it there. So, so this is the image that data node. And on the right side here, if I open this one here, you will see this particular data node um, is linked to this image here. However, these two are two different things. So for example, I can easily change the name of uh, the image data block here, new image. And uh, it doesn't change the, the file that is linked into. So if you go over here, you will see that this image data block is now named new image. I can even actually go there and change it to link it, basically link to another image. But the image data not doesn't change. It's still the new image, the new image here. But now it is linked to a new image file. Uh, let, let me go back to the the previous one. What what this means? I can also create a new image data block without actually linking it to any image. So for example, if I go up here, I can just like any other data block. I just say this one. I cancel this one, and then I just add a new. It will need to have a width and so if I call this um, image two, you see this this is the image two and it at the moment it is not linked to any image. This is just have a back background and I can change this background for example. So there, so on here I can choose this one so I can use image two. So this is image two. This is just to show to you that the image data block and the image file are actually two different things they are basically linked but you can change one or the other without affecting the other once you understand the difference between the image data block and the file that is linked into you now you can go into the instead of view you can go into the paint mode and you select the uh, the brush tools here you see the two shirts so this is the setting for that particular brush and you select and the color and you can actually paint on top of the image here the texture here and you you see the texture will be automatically updated the texture itself because the texture here is based on the the image data block and not on the other link file so the the image data block is is a combination of the link file and whatever you paint on top of it uh, on this side if you go into the uh, texture paint uh, you will have the same tools as in the image only this time it is in, in the 3d view and you, you, you over here is also the same tools and if you change on one it will change on the other as well and you can use here you can here you can paint as well so here you can paint on the 3d view so basically it's, it's the same whether you are painting on the 3d view or the or on the 2d view you are actually uh, working with the same tools and uh, on the same data. However, if I go back to the view mode and I go back to the image, you see the image is now a gray. What does this mean? When this image is gray, it means you are, you are not up to date. That means that if you close the file now, uh, the, the Blender cannot save painting data so uh, you will clear the painting data if you save your file now what you need to do is you need to flatten the data and save it into a image file 
for example here i can use this if i save this and it flatten the data and it will save on on top of the, of the image file here however i don't want to do this because i want to keep the original file so what i should do is i should go to image here and we have save as so we select just something else say like painted painted 01 so i save an image here so once i save here this thing is not it's not gray anymore so it will save it to, into the new file and it will, re, it will link directly to that file automatically. So now it's safe for you to save the Blender file and exit. With regard to the paint mode, uh, in this video, I'm not going to go into the details of how to set the brushes, their texture, texture mask strokes and all those kind of things. That will, will require a whole video on its own. However, I want to show you there are a few things. First of all, the blend here, the default blend is mixed, but you can choose any other blend just like in Photoshop. So if I can choose, for example, the multiply, uh, it will behave like a multiply brush in Photoshop. Uh, it's the same. The other things that I like to show is that there are this erase alpha and add alpha. This is how you create transparency for your texture. So if I erase alpha, I can erase the alpha for certain parts or I can use it on this side here if I go to texture paint here and I can use alpha here it will create the alpha for that particular texture if you want to see then you need to do this on the shader add mix RGB you put it here and you put the alpha here so you can see you can change the color underlying color uh, there if you erase alpha you can the texture transparent or you can get it back by adding alpha as i said before you can do the painting either in the image editor or in the texture paint panel other than that there are the other brushes here this is the draw brush that we see right now there are also this is a softened brush i think they are all self-explanatory smear this is clone and this is fill. The only thing that I have problem is mask. I haven't found any use for it and I don't really know how it works. So if anybody knows how this alpha is supposed to work, you can leave it in the comment below. There you have it, the paint mode. Next is the mask mode. This actually creates a lot of confusion if you don't know exactly how this works. Mass in Blender is actually its own type of data and has nothing to do with images, although it says the same editor panel here. So this is the image, and this is the mass. This is the image data block, and this is the mass data block. So let me just create a new one and rename this new mass data block. And if you go on the here, this is all the elements that make up the mass data block. The easiest way to add mask is to go here, let's add, let us circle, for example. You can use the normal transformation tool to manipulate it. So as I can add another one, uh, add a square. You can drag the handles and so on, just like what you normally do. The first thing that you should realize is that mask is made up of curves. It has nothing to do with brushes. Uh, you don't use brushes to create mask. You just use curves. The second thing is that a mask is used only in the compositing and the VSC or, or video sequencing panels only. It cannot be used in the, the shader panel because, for example, if I go here and if I add and I search for mask, there are actually no nodes for mask in the shader editor. But if you go into compositing, for example, and you use node, you add, search for mask you'll find a few nodes that that is related to mass purely for display you can go to the mass display here and you can select this overlay and you can see how the mass will interact with the image uh, that is is linked to it doesn't have to be this image but whenever it's, it's how how it looks like and this is the the composite the combine or you can see the alpha channel of the mass uh, this is the alpha channel but this is this is purely for display it doesn't change anything, either the mask itself or the image behind it. As for the mask, there are tools. There are other tools, like you can you can drag it, you can 
drag all these things and you have uh, things like uh, recalculate handles and all these kind of things and emerge and blend and all those but i'm not going to go into it in this particular video uh, that will be another video however before we end i'm going to show you how you use the mask in compositing so if we go there and change this into compositing compositor here and uh, click the add notes here and then just delete this render layer I'm just going to add a uh, image texture the image use it to uh, image here and i'm going just to add an a viewer viewer and just then I select the of the image that we have I'm going to select this image here so this is how it looks in the viewer in the compositor so you can add mask node for example you can add the mask node here and mask if you go into the mask you will see here these are the mass data blocks so i'm going to use this new mass because this is the same as this one and say we what we need to do is we create alpha over alpha over this is how you use it in in, in compositor and the image will go to here and both here and here and we use this the mass as an effector and the image we go to down here so you have that you see this is the mask and this is the uh, the one behind it and if you change the mask you will see this is how it affected here so you use the ima the mask in the compositor but you need to add you cannot edit it in the compositor so you need to edit it in the uh, image editor under the mask mode and in this image editor here you can just easily like this one I can just uh, get a new for example if I get a new image here uh, the mask will still work is I think this the skill is kind of all messed up I will not go into how to set up the resolution and the size of the mask and so on that will be a video for another day compositing in general can get much more complicated than this uh, but this is just an, an idea and where you can use mask in blender to recap, there are two important things that you should take in this video. Number one, image data block uh, here. Image data block are linked to the texture file, but there are two different things. So you can use it to your advantage. So you can change one without changing the other or vice versa. Secondly, although they share the same editor, this image editor and the mask editor, mask and image are actually two different animals and they are not actually related to one another. I hope this helps. If you like this video, please check out my other videos and click the subscribe button below.